like, like, comment, <laughs> subscribe. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to prepare some steamed fish with okra today. So what I did ahead of time is go ahead and scale the fish right and these are the ingredients so what we're going to have today is our coconut milk powder which is my yellow of this brand it is more richer to me than the other the other rest i'm going to put a little lime juice um fish season maggie all purpose of course i'm going to watch um off the fish with some vinegar i'm going to use my stick butter we have some pumpkin here some onion, escalion, tomatoes, sweet pepper, mm, my favorite, okra, and Irish, or you will call it potato, wherever you are. Um, some thyme, I have a little piece of ginger, and of course, our famous Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper. What I like to do ahead of time, right, is to prepare my vegetables. I have some cucumbers and some lettuce that I'm going to serve on the side as a side um, vegetable, you know, so to make the dish more presentable and more edible, right? So take, stay tuned for more. I've decided that I wanted to look about some bami that was in the fridge from yesterday, um, along with my steamed fish also. I've just remembered that I placed it in the fridge. So what I actually did with these, these are not um, diced properly, but you know, at least it is done. So these were actually soaked in coconut um, milk, the, uh, my favorite Maggi coconut milk, uh, with um, some thymes on it for flavor. So I'm, I'm going to actually get some of these done with my fish also. So I've just cleaned off my fish with the vinegar as I showed you guys before. So I'm going to add my Maggi all-purpose season right here. A little bit of all three of them. And also my Maggi fish. I love this season so much for the fish because it's like um, more mild. And it's, it's carried more flavor, right? So... It's all depending on you guys what you want to use on your fish, but I rather to use this. A little bit on here and there. On everyone. Kind of rub it in, my little kind of rub it in and let it marinate. So we're gonna move the reason why I soak the bamins in coconut milk is because it gives it a nice um, flavor and it gives you more moist taste in your mouth. So it's like bursting of different flavor, you know, milky type of flavor. So these are all soaked. I went ahead and preheated my pot, so I'm gonna tip a little bit of oil in the pot because um, the butter that I showed you guys before, that's what I'm gonna use for um, to help to steam the fish a little bit more. Because through the pot is already preheated, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is to add my vegetable that I show you guys, and I've also went ahead previously and add some lime juice for a tangy taste in it. So I'm going to add these to sort of stir fries. And if you're wondering why I put um, pumpkin in this, it's for color and more texture to the fish for you to eat. Yeah. So I add all of this to my pot. Here it's all frying up right here. All my seasoning, so beautiful this is. Just gonna taste so good today. All burst of flavor here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my coconut milk. And I just add some little bit of water in it. I'm gonna spray it on. 
So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is add this to my pot. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and add a little bit more water to it. For it to cook down my seasons. Okay, it's right here. Normally what I do is to add my fish last and my okra last because you know those are the things that will steam the eat will steam through it more faster. So what I'm gonna do actually I prepare these I slice these in two reason being because you know that okra is a sensitive thing. We from Jamaica know that um with okra, if you don't do them like this and you put them in a pot all it is a possibility that you know that insect will be living inside of them. So I bust them in two. So what I'm gonna do is add these to my pot for the last because you know that these are the ones that will it will steam um faster than anything else, right? So you see the fish is bubbling right here. You know, I'm gonna start up like something down in the pot, right? So here I go. You see the flavor? It's coming up. And the texture is getting thick. You see? Alrighty. So what I'm gonna do is actually put this on low um low heat to let these this um steam a little bit more, okay? See you in a few. Here we go guys. So this has been situated in my pot for approximately Three, three, two to three minutes to be frank. So what I'm gonna do is I had my maggi um, cock soup with pumpkin noodle to add a little bit more flavor to the pot because um, to give it more taste in it. There you go, just a little tip. Not too much. Mix. It's all depending on what you want to add to the pot, right? So you see the texture is coming up. I actually had it some pimento seed in it. You know that the pimento berry carry, um, carries also a burst of flavors, right? Here we go. So I'm going to do a little taste test. Mmm, this tastes so good. So natural. So what I'm going to do right now is the fish that I have already seasoned from before, here they are, right here. I'm going to actually place them in my pot, right, so here we go, uno, dos, tres, here we go. I'm gonna, actually going to place a piece of butter in it. Um, for more flavor here, so let it steam through properly more. There you go. And put my water over it. Here, find my bammies that I told you guys previously about. So the oil is already hot, so I'm here doing them. And I've left my fish over here in my pot for approximately four minutes, three to four minutes approximately and this is how it is looking right now so when I'm um, you will see me guys in a few when it's all done for serving so you see it's all creamy and nice mm. look at this look at the fish look all creamy and nice you see what I'm telling you about a pumpkin you can go ahead and eat it like this all creamy nice. look at the cream mm, delicious i wish you guys could taste this right now look at this wow so see you guys in a few so here you guys have it this is the finishing product of my steam fish with bami and my cucumbers and lettuce so drop a comment in the comment section share like and subscribe and tell a friend about me i'm new here so would appreciate it here you go mm. it's 
delicious. Bon appétit. Bye.